beautiful day. Yay! Out and about on my board. It's a gorgeous day outside. Fun fact about me slash Toronto. I love back lanes. They're so nice. They're always really perfectly paved, super good for boarding. But the cool thing about back lanes, which is very different from where I'm from, and I'm sure a lot of small towns typically avoid back alleys and back lanes. But in Toronto, I almost don't want to say this on the internet because it feels like a super secret secret. Also, I'm doing this here because somebody put my name on it. That's so nice of you guys. <laughs> Smash. I'm just going to sit here for a minute. Whee! The cool thing about back lanes in Toronto is that they're like, I feel like it's like the underground, above ground tunnel system. Like it's the secret streets of Toronto. It's a secret way of getting around and you would never know which way to go or how to get around unless you actually live here. So it's like the streets for the locals. That's how I feel about back lanes and back alleys. And I recently had a friend come visit me and uh, <laughs> he was like, well, it wasn't that recently, it was in the summer. And he was like, take me for a walk, show me your area. So I'm like, okay. So I'm all excited. So I took him into a back lane and he's like, I told you to show me. I wanted to see your neighborhood. Why are we in a back lane? Then I had to explain the whole thing. And he's like, okay, I get it. But I really don't feel like I saw your area either. <laughs> so I get that too. Anyway, yeah, it's like the secret streets I can get from my house all the way downtown just in back alleys which is cool because and you can avoid the main streets when toronto is normal and there's actually tourists here you can avoid the tourists this is getting really loud every time i'm in a mall with my skateboard i think of avril lavigne's music video and i really wish i could skateboard in a mall please <laughs> somebody let me <laughs> just kidding so exciting news. I decided I wasn't done with my side shave. Eee, really happy about it. I got it reshaped so it's gonna look a little funny. Parts of it need to grow out still. It's basically just that little bottom half undercut. But I'm really happy with it. Yay! And now I have an errand to run. So I'm gonna take the secret streets the back lane way and avoid traffic and people and have perfect pavement. There's so many cool lanes everywhere. I really believe that sometimes you just have to get outside and come chill with a tree. I will go until I find my favorite tree of the day. Today it's this guy. Look at him! And you got energy from trees. I know it sounds crazy and seems silly, but it's like, like a friend. You can come chill with it and get some fresh air and 
Yeah, Eckhart Tolle says that if you want to learn how to meditate, you should go be with a tree or sit with a tree. And I've always loved that because it was something that I did anyway as a kid. Everywhere I've ever lived, I've always had a favorite tree nearby or somewhere, a tree that I would could climb or go sitting and go be alone. So it's a thing that I've done for my entire life. And I love that I still do it. And it's not something I really consciously think about. Like I didn't leave my house today and think, I'm gonna go and sit with the tree. Although sometimes that is the plan. Today it wasn't. I was just on my way home. I went to the store. I got some things that I needed. I got some snacks. I got some aloe juice. I love this stuff. It's so good. And yeah, I wasn't quite ready to go back home yet. So I walked through the park that's near my house, which I love. Found this great tree just looking all great and good and decided to stop by for a sit and enjoy some of the sun. I recommend it. I think it's a boy. Love you, guy. Sometimes it feels female. I'm gonna hug it. It's a good tree. All right, I guess I'm gonna end this vlog here today. This wasn't really the plan for today's video, but it just kind of happened. So a little vlog about trees and streets and a little snippet of my life in Toronto, I guess. So I'd say for today, we are complete. Oh yeah, I wanted to mention Eckhart Tolle because I kind of just started talking about other stuff after that. I love Eckhart Tolle so much. I love his books, The Power of Now, legit changed my life. It's always by my bed. I reread it. I'll just open it up to random pages. It's a really powerful powerful book and it's a really important book to me too for a lot of reasons but yeah so when he says if you want to learn how to meditate you should sit with a tree the other part of that is to study the tree and that's basically what he says you should do if you want to learn how to meditate so I think that's really cool because obviously I love meditation I'm saying obviously because I create meditations and put them on this channel and stuff like that but I like his method I like that a lot go and study the tree study the stillness the calmness the grounded the rootedness of it and be like a tree find that stillness in your own body in your mind Eckhart Tolle always says find or connect with the space that's in between your thoughts which is really hard to wrap your mind around but really interesting if you think about it we have these thoughts but in between your thoughts there is a space if we focus on that space we can make that space last longer and that's where we'll find stillness and nothingness and quietness and peace of mind. That's where the peace in your mind is, the peace of your mind. Wow, I never thought of it like that. Pieces, peace, peace of mind. <laughs> so I hope this video today inspired you to get outside and connect with the pieces of your mind that are still by connecting with the tree and maybe reading some Eckhart Tolle and that all rhymed. Woo! Okay, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.